All right, get, get uh, your take on this one, ladies. Have a look at these images today of uh, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales. She was in London at a Muslim centre in West London. Now, she went to shake the hand of the imam. Have a look. I think we've got some vision there. I'll put it on the screen. This has happened to me before on official visits. Now, it's pretty disconcerting. You put your hand out. And uh, in that case, the imam there, the, the man with the black hat, refuses to shake her hand. That's happened to me, as I said before, but that's usually when I've been in a foreign country. She will one day be an English queen. I reckon, uh, Prue, the British customs should apply in Britain. Yes, yeah, so do I. But I also understand... I, I was a little strange, uh, uh, surprised she wasn't brief because I, I even know that. You know, I'm a very tactile person and I just know not to offer my hand. But you're right, she's a British queen. But, frankly, I, out of respect, I probably wouldn't have offered my hand. I think she just forgot or wasn't reminded. What do you think, Tina? And yeah, the I'm scarf as well. I'm happy to give her a pass on this. I think, you know, the headscarf was respectful. I mean, you know, the monarchy's going through a lot at the moment and they don't want to have anything disrupt the coronation. And I think she simply forgot with a hand. I think once um, King Charles is, is locked in that throne, they can perhaps, you know, be a little bit more daring with, with how they present these different cultures in their own country. Oh, my point is, I think, in Britain, the imam should have shaked should have uh, taken her hand. Yeah. I think in Britain, you do what the British people would expect you to do. Um, I don't blame her. All right, I'll leave it there, ladies. See you next week.